Oh, welcome guys. Uh, so in this video, okay, so we are try just trying to prove this uh, linear algebra fact. Although I, I somehow like I, I, I would say this is correct, right? But uh, I have not yet uh, give a proof. Okay, so let's say uh, every projectors in the complex CN or and uh, is Hermitian. Okay, so let's quickly define uh, what's a projector, right? So basically, if you so let's say this is V, right? So given a subspace, uh, if you can write down a, so you can write down a projector, basically project each V into a subspace W. So it, this is V, and then you have some W subspace, and uh, if you map this V to the a uh, vector on a W, then this is called a projector. Okay, so so given any uh, subspace, there will be a projector. And what is Hermitian, right? There is a inner product space, uh, inner product structure on a finite dimensional complex manifold, uh, co complex vector space. So, uh, so uh, what people say the uh, let's say X is a okay, maybe T is a uh, Hermitian. Uh, that means if the inner product with x with ty will be uh, txy. Okay, so, and uh, this bracket is inner product. Okay, so basically if you can exchange this t in up to this way, then uh, we call it uh, Hermitian. Okay, so now the fact is that we want to show that uh, every projector is Hermitian. Okay? Simple, simple, simple. Don't worry. Uh, we will approve it. Okay. So now let's take a W, right? So this is V. Then we know that the V can be separated W. Direct some W. Uh, w. Uh, I should say. Uh, uh, w complement. Okay. So that means uh, one can write any thing. Also, uh, one can write any F or uh, decompose into W and W complement. So for example, if somebody gives you F, I write as F1 plus F2. So F1 belongs to W, F2 belongs to W bar. And the G equals to G1, G2. And the T is our projector. Okay, so TF will be what? So will be F1, right? By definition, TG will be G1. And uh, F2 is not on F1. Uh, uh, so F2 is not a uh, complement of, of W, so this is W, okay? Okay, so let's do it. So suppose TFG, right, will be uh, F1G, right? So this is a trick that uh, I want to solve it. I want to basically change it so I can write F1G plus F2G. So, so notice that, uh, so the, the trick is that what is F two G? What is F two G? Yeah. So basically, if, if we we want to show that T F G is equal to F T G, right? so T F is basically only uh, get somebody F one, right? So yeah. So this is not okay. This is not a good way. But we can write as F one G one plus G two. And uh, so F one G one, right? F one G one is is something that we don't know. But F2, G2, but F1, G2 is 0, right? Because G2 is in a W complement and the F1, right? F1 is in W, okay? So we can key, kill all this term. Okay, now I think everyone so, uh, sees the trick, right? So G1 is also complement to F2, right? So that means I can write this. Uh, F1 plus F2, G1. Because the reason is why I say G1 is false in W and F2 falls in W uh, complement. So they're also good. Okay. So what is this? This is F and the G1, right? And the G1 is TG. Okay. So nice. From here, here, and here. So we know that uh, T is Hermitian. Somehow, when I study some quantum information uh, paper, that uh, uh, I think we use this uh, fact that uh, very common, although it's not obviously. Yeah, so this is a very nice 
things result that every projectors, at least in the finite di dimensional uh, complex Hilbert space, uh, oh, sorry, finite dimensional complex vector space is Hermitian. Okay, now I will see you guys in the next uh, videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel.